Okay, here we are. Well, this is a portrait I did a number of years ago. And it, one thing about a portrait, it's like the Mona Lisa. I've seen the Mona Lisa maybe 10,000 times since I was about eight. And each time I see it, it's still exciting to see it. There's still something that uh, you can't really explain. And she's still smiling back at me. So that says something. The thing is that uh, when you're doing a portrait, I think it's important that that portrait is alive for you while the real person is put onto either canvas or paper. In this case, Greta Garbo, and this is probably at her ultimate time in the films and when she did uh, Mata Harry. I've done a, the, the background I cannot explain because it just happened, you know, with the, the turns and this and that. These all just kind of came out of me, but she did wear this during the film. Here we have very simple, the, the, the features of the face, the two eyes, nose with the shadow under the nose, the mouth. There's no big, deep, hard uh, cast shadows. And what we have now is the beautiful shape of the head. There's one cast shadow here under the chin and the, and the jaw. But the most important part of this whole movie, the one thing that people will look at first, are the two eyes. As people, when you're walking into a room and you're meeting people, you look at their eyes. And those eyes of hers are, well, you'll be seen a thousand years from now at historians. The thing about this here is that it's all warm, virtually warm, except for down here where we have to cool. I think it's essential when you're doing a painting, if it's all one uh, color, if it's all blues, you think of the Impressionists when they did the scenes with the grass, the green, the blue skies, the distant gray mountains, and then they may put in a red barn or something. So a painting such as this, I wanted to keep it warm for her. We have very simple, her looking back at us. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that happen in this. The, the, the way I did the background here, I think helps give the painting some kind of personality. <laughs> I should, I, I hesitate to say that because really all you need is the one face. But if you do just have one face in a painting, it really um, kind of isolates it. I, to me, I like to have background and foreground, generally speaking, and so that she is existing somewhere, so to speak. And we have the gold here, just very little bits and pieces of uh, in the dark. Here's one important thing. Remember this for the rest of your lives as artists. And I heard this at one workshop, and it was the one thing that stuck with me. In light and shadow, this doesn't show it exactly, but in light and shadow, make sure that you put more detail in either the light side or the shadow side. Look at the details up there. The details are much less in the shadow side. That's the same with the face. In the shadow side of a face, put less of detail into it. So in other words, don't put the same details all throughout the whole painting. Shadows generally want to have less detail. They like to be pushed in the background. And also in shadows, the color is not quite as rich as it is in the, uh, on the light side. So there we are. Portrait here of the one and only of the 30s, uh, Greta Garbo. Here she is, Garbo, not a Harry. And you see a little tiny in there, a little hardy brown. So that's another thing I'd like to leave with you. Uh, we'll have more things coming, but I think this is kind of an important one for a lot of the elements that I'm showing you. Thank you.